What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It is December 15th, 2017 and that means it is week number 14 of Xur. Xur is actually located at the tower for the very first time since Destiny 2 has been released. So let's go see what he has in his little quickie mart this week. And here he is. Xur! What's up dude? So, there are a couple of new things this week with the wonderful Curse of Osiris for Xur. And we are going to start off with Faded Engrams, which cost 97 Legendary Shards. Now, if I am correct, you only get the max of 305 for the power level on these, and you can only get one Faded Engram a week. We also have... Uh, three of Coins, which is back for 31 Legendary Shards, and you can get as many of these as you want, and these give you an increased chance to receive exotic engrams from sources in the world, and this effect lasts for four hours. If you do not have an exotic, or a specific exotic, that is one of these, by all means go ahead and grab these first, because a friend of mine, D-Spikes, actually did not have the Darcy and then he bought a faded engram and <laughs> like a dumbass he ended up getting the Darcy so if you don't have one of these exotics first go ahead grab these first before you buy a faded engram so the weapon of the week is the Darcy which is an exotic arc sniper rifle Tender perk on this is personal assistant which aim at an enemy to view its health and other critical information in the scope. Next we have extended barrel, extended mag, target acquired which when personal assistant is active this weapon has better target acquisition and deals more precision damage and then we have short attack stock. Now this weapon is an okay weapon for PvE definitely not a top tier for PvP um, I probably would rate this a 2.5 in PvE and probably a 3 to 3.5, maybe even a 4 in PvP. Because it really is not that good in PvP, but it's a decent weapon for PvE. So if you guys don't have one, by all means go ahead and grab it. And this also comes with a weapon attack mod and obviously all exotics do. Next exotic we're going to be talking about is the Celestial Nighthawk for the Hunter class with 1 mobility and 2 resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is Hawkeye Hack, which modifies Golden Gun to fire a single high damage shot. Enemies eliminated by the shot explode. We also have Plasteel Reinforcement mod as well as Restorative mod, and this also comes with Solar Paragon mod. If you are a hunter and you use your Gunslinger class, go ahead and grab this. It's definitely a good exotic when it comes to boss fights, and you're only obviously DPSing on one boss, does amazing damage on Kallus, and almost any other boss so by all means go ahead grab it it is definitely tier uh, 2 in PvE however it is not a top tier in PvP because it only gives you a single shot so in PvP I'm probably gonna rate this a tier 3.5 to tier 4 and the only reason why is because unless all of the enemies line up in a hallway like extremely like dead on you are not going to get everybody at once with this. So that's why he gets that rating in PvP. Next is out we're going to be going over is the Hollow Fire Heart for the Titan class. Trenter perk on this is Sunfire Furnace, which greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities while Hammer of Soul is charged. Next we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, as well as a Solar Impact mod. I'm going to say this, Hammer Titans have not been good at all since Destiny 2 started. It's They're a decent class, but since this helps out your Hammer abilities, by all means, go ahead and grab it. As of right now, I'm going to rate this a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. I have not yet tested it myself because I don't use Hammers on my Titan. I either use Striker or I use my Captain America some class. So, 2 point... Uh, tier 2, sorry, uh, for now, but we will try to see uh, later on if this actually changes. 
Oh, and it also comes with two mobility as well as two resilience. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Eye of Another World for the Warlock with one mobility and two recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is cerebral. Intrinsic perk on this is cerebral uplink, which highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. And then we have mobility enhancement mod, restorative mod, as well as impact absorption mod. Now, given the fact that the Karnstein armlets do not regen any of your abilities like this does anymore then I probably would suggest you guys get this however I still feel that the Nezarek Sin is a better exotic than the Eye of Another World so if you guys don't have a Nezarek Sin get a Nezarek Sin prior to getting the wonderful Eye of Another World and that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed it leave a like share it feedback is always appreciated if you have any ideas for a future video let me know in the comments below thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and I will see you guys next time.